another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? It could be the round of the century. I was not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of the 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back uh, with the first show of the day. It's going to be an interesting show, a little bit different uh, topic than we usually get into. A little more for the hardcores. Um, on, on the zone card, uh, the matchroom card today, um, or, or earlier today or, or, or last night, if you're in the UK, Leron Richards put together a really dominant performance over uh, Italian... Um, perennial contender kind of guy, um, Giovanni uh, De Carolis. Uh, and I want to get into it. I, I think Richards is good, but I have a lot of critiques that I want to get into. But before we do that, please like and subscribe, share all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, uh, twice a day with quick hits, eight to ten minutes a day, uh, just to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news. And rumors. we'll be back later tonight with a reaction to the a Figueroa Neary fight um, later, but for now, let, let, let's start with this episode. Uh, let's get into Leron Richards, who I think has a ton of skill. Um, I, I think he's really good. I, I really, really do. Um, like I'm gonna, and I'm gonna get accused of, of hating uh, British fighters, and I, I really, I, I don't. I, I think Richards is good. I really, really do. Uh, which is why I'm critiquing him like this. Like, if I thought he was trash, um, I would just say so. Uh, and I wouldn't be doing a show. But he's, he is really good on the outside. He's long. He's rangy. He's a southpaw. He's really good on the outside. Really good. Um, he's sharp with his punches. The, the straight left hand is right over the top. It's straight. It's fierce. It's laser-like. And it didn't miss today against DeCarolis. Now, like, DeCarolis is not a world beater. DeCarolis did beat Fegan Boots. Right, the guy that uh, a world title challenge. So he's not a terrible fighter, but he's not a world beater either. Um, he's also lost the vegan boots, by the way. Um, but that's the level that he's on. He's an okay fighter, you know. He's a good European level guy, and Richards absolutely destroyed him. So it's it, it's it's a good sign from Richards, right? Uh, like I said, Richards not only is good on the outside, not only is he an excellent sniper from long range, he's really good on the inside. He he shows short punches on the in shot side. Uh, nice uppercut. He, he turned shots over really well on the inside. Um, and then he slips. He's, he, you know, he, he's slippery in there where it's hard to hit him. Like for a guy, his side, a south, well, you wouldn't expect him necessarily to be that good on the inside, but it's really good on the inside. And that was another gear that he showed me today, uh, which I, I didn't know he, he could do that. Um, here's my critique of him. At no point does he... And, and he's got pop. Like, I'm not saying he's a knockout artist like Boatsy. Wow, was that a knockout? Uh, but what I what I am saying is he's got pop. He's certainly, certainly not feather fisted at all. Um so he was able to hurt the Carolus over and over again. Every time he landed that left straight left hand, it hurt him. Right, it 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 hurt. He snapped his head back, and and he felt it. But at no point did he ever really try to put it together. At no point did he really try to go for the stoppage. Right, like again, the Carlos is a fine fighter. And I'm not saying it's a bad one. It's not a bad one. It's a pretty decent one. He's got wins over uh, Lennox Clark, the Carlos, Tommy Lankford. Um, you know, he's got decent wins. You know, all by. Points decision, obviously. He's got three knockouts on uh, his 15 wins, but he's got, I mean, he's got snap on his punches. So it makes no sense why he doesn't look to amp it up and, and, and get fighters out of it. Look, the catalyst was the, the, from the eighth round on, I would say, was shelling up, not firing back, looking to survive. He was hurt every time he got hit. And, and Richards just didn't do anything. You know, I, there were so many times in that fight where I, I would say, you know, Richard would land a left hand and, and, and um, the Carols would go back, you know, in, in a defensive posture and just kind of hold on. 
I, I would say rip a hook to the body, rip it upstairs, th you put three, four, five punches behind it, and put some stank on it because you got him hurt. He's not firing back. He's in a defensive posture looking to survive. And this was over and over and over and over again. And again, I'm not saying this to hate on you, okay, but Look, I'm wearing my Italian colors, right? I, I, I'm wearing... <laughs> oh, oh. I'm wearing my Italian colors. I'm a DeCarolis fan. All right? I was rooting for DeCarolis. Now, that being said, Richards looked really good. If he didn't look good, I wouldn't be critiquing him like this. If I didn't think he had world-class talent, I wouldn't be critiquing him like this. Um, but he does. His skills are he, – he, he's obviously talented. He's obviously skilled. He's 28 years old. He's entering his prime. And I, I don't want to say he's got to put better performances together because the performance was dominant. It was really good. But why does he not get – why does he play with his food, so to speak? Like, why? why? Why is he sitting there fighting like that? Why doesn't he put it together and try to get somebody out of there? I, I don't understand the benefit of, of letting someone hang around who has no business hanging around with you. He, the Carolers couldn't hurt him. The Carlos isn't a puncher. The Carlos wasn't even trying to hurt him anymore. The Carlos was in defensive mode, in survival mode, um, just trying to make it through the 12 rounds. And it was obvious from, the, I would say, the seventh round on that the Carlos wasn't going to win a single round. He wasn't going to try to win a single round. Richard was going to dominate the entire fight, right? And he wasn't going to get him back. And every round was going to look the same. And it got worse and worse. So that, and that was actually wrong, right? Like, the Carolers threw less and less and less shots. But I don't understand this. Someone help me out here. Someone in the UK. Why not get it? Why not step on a gas? The guy can't hurt you. He's hurt. He's ready to go. Hurt him with the, with the straight left, which you were doing. And then just let the hands go. Make the ref step in and stop it. Right? Because the guy's not firing back. So if you just let your hands go, the ref's got to stop it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, first off, do you think um, Richards is as good as I did? Do you, do you see the skills there? Do you see why this is frustrating to me as, as, as a fight fan? Do you, is he's a pretty complete fighter who's not feather fisted. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, do you agree with me that he should let it go? Try to get knockouts? Try to stop people? Because if you play with your food long enough, it's going to come back and haunt you. Put people out of their misery. End the fight. Like Watsi did. Um, that was an incredible knockout. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, we have a brand new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, uh, which we're going to be up updating the interviews. I know I've been promising that for a while. Uh, I have the interviews. I'm just waiting for a good time to upload them. Uh, I'm going to update them on Sunday. I just don't know what time. Um, please like and subscribe to that channel. All the proceeds from Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube uh, go to Autism uh, research and recovery. The name of the uh, charity, the name of the organization is Taka, uh, the Autism Community in Action. Uh, please like and subscribe, share all forms of social media. Again, uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Um, it is May 15th. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still out in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021 uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.